I still don't think that he is where he was at the time of the injury originally. He got, his, he got another procedure on his knee. They're going to be very careful with him. He's going to miss like the first month or something like that. But presuming he gets back not only to where he was, but on his upward trajectory, that's, he's a monster. And he's not even the best player on the team. The best player on the team is Luka Doncic, who I believe will win the MVP this year. The dude almost averaged a triple-double with 30 points for a winning team. He was a monster in the playoffs. And by the way, there is room for improvement. Yes, on the defensive end, but even on the offensive end, he can shoot the three better than that. You can see his form and see he's going to be able to shoot the three better than that, but he took a ton of game and, by the way, was only hitting about under 32% of them. What happens when he starts to hit 34 and 35% of them? You know what's going to happen? What I just said, 30-plus points with a triple-double. Only unlike Harden early in his career, Perk, he has shown the ability to elevate his play in the playoffs. I think Doncic is an MVP player, or certainly an MVP caliber player. He's that already. And I think Porzingis is much closer to that than people realize. They also both have real size. There's no LeBron or AD. I think those two will come closest this season. Well, you're wrong, Max, and it's not even close. After LeBron and AD is Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving. We're talking about two of the most skilled athletes to ever touch the, ba the damn basketball, and it's not even a debate. When you look at Kevin Durant, He's the best scorer of all time. Zero flaws offensively. An underrated defender. He is wow. going to come back on the tear. I told you this once before that he missed a year and a half of basketball. For KD, that's torture. And he cannot wait to get back on the court. And then you add Kyrie Irving, one of the best, if not the best ball handler, the best below the basket finisher that this game has ever laid his eyes on. Comparing those two up on the same team, they're going to be an offensive. Uh, they're going to be an offensive. It's going to be a, a a masterpiece what they're going to be doing offensively. And you look at Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving. Both of those guys are capable of winning the MVP this year. One or the other. It could be Kevin Durant or Kyrie Irving. If Kyrie Irving' mind is right. He's one of the best point guards in the game today, if not the best point guard. So you have two guys that cannot be guarded one-on-one, -on -one, that cannot be guarded by a double team. Two of guys that are the most skilled to ever play the game. One of them is the best scorer to ever touch the basketball. That is the second best duo behind uh, LeBron James and Anthony Davis. First and all. it's not even a debate. Look, no disrespect to Luka. I'm a huge fan of Luka, but KP is not healthy, so he won't be starting the season. We don't know how he's going to come back. Like you always say, almost always, if a guy have three knee, uh, three surgeries on his knees at 7'2", he might not come back the same way. So we don't know how KP is going to come back. Mm -hmm. But we do know that at the start of the season, we're going to see Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving. So I know that much. And they the best, they the second well, best duo well, okay, that, behind LeBron James and Anthony Davis. Well, uh, there's a lot wrong with what you just said. Number one, uh, you're right about the knee no, surgery, wasn't. of course. And we have to see, although, although Porzingis um, was very, very good when he was healthy in the playoffs last year. And in fact, I thought with Porzingis and Doncic on the court, they were clearly better than the Clippers. I think they would have won the series if he stayed healthy. But he didn't stay healthy, and that's legitimate. You know what else? He's not coming back from an Achilles perk. KD is coming back from an Achilles and I know they're playing pickup ball and everything in California all these kind of things let me see it on an NBA floor let me see Durant still be Durant then I might agree with you we haven't seen that yet and in terms of Kyrie Irving not only has he had chemistry issues almost wherever he's gone his presence on a team has somehow even though I agree if it's a skills competition just pure skills obviously KD and Kyrie because Kyrie might be the most skillful player I've ever seen you know, like Kobe Bryant, you have a few guys where you think, oh, my God, this, they can do everything. Kyrie is one of the best handles ever. Kyrie can shoot the lights out. Kyrie is the best finisher under the rim of all time, at least that I've ever laid my eyes on. I all just that's said true. that. But too, met, too often, teams he's been that. on has been, have, have not performed as well with him on it. So, like, how do you figure that one? And in terms of an MVP, Kyrie's never sniffed an MVP.
never sniffed it. He's been in the league. He's well, been healthy in the league. He's been on great teams. He's been on bad teams. He's been the primary ball, the primary ball handler. He's been on teams where his usage rate was not as high. He's had great teammates. He had not, he's been in the league a long time. He has never sniffed an MVP, Perk. Well, I'll I tell you one thing. I'll tell you this. Kyrie and Kevin Durant are champions, so that goes to show me that both of those guys know the necessary sacrifices and the necessary type of style of play that they need to do to go out there and play with each other. And I'm trying to tell you, Max, is, is that with that much firepower between those two players, I don't see no one stopping them, period. If they, it, Look, if Kevin Durant is off, Kyrie is going for 50. If Kyrie is off, Kevin Durant is going for 50. I'm looking at this at this Brooklyn Nets team, and I'm guaranteeing you right now that both of these guys are going to average 25-plus points a night, and that Brooklyn is probably going to be the number one seed in the Eastern Conference. And so with that being said, yeah. that's why they're going to be the best duo behind LeBron James and Anthony Davis. Well, if... If KD is off, I have no doubt Kyrie can go for 50, but will the Nets win that game? That's the question I have. Uh, and in terms, of, in terms of the health of all four guys, the, uh, the size of them, the skills of them, what can they do? The best matchup for me, LeBron and AD, the, the duo I think has the best chance to come closest to those two are Luka, who I believe will win the MVP this year. Kind of came close last year, really. And Porzingis, who I think people are totally sleeping on if he is healthy he's a monster also perk you keep calling kd the best scorer of all time if that were true he'd average more points than jordan in an era where it's easier to average more points and he'd score more efficiently than jordan however michael jordan he not do. Only scored more he than do. kd won more than he, kd he do. but scored more efficiently than kd no, that's not true, Max. That's not true, Max. That's not true. Yeah, is. KD is one of the most it is. efficient scores that we ever saw. Damn, Michael Jordan never finished in the 50-90 Jordan Club. Look it up. Has 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 Michael look, Jordan look ever finished in the 90-50-40 Club? Answer that. Uh, I don't know. I, you know what? I don't Can know if answer? he ever shot. If he had 90 from the line in the same year, he shot over 40 from from three and 50 from the field. I have to Can look you? that up. Okay, but he is a then. more so, efficient scorer right, throughout then, then, his career. I... Perk, by the numbers, by the numbers, he's more efficient than KD, just so you know. You could look it up. Jordan's more no, efficient scorer than KD. No, he's... And he's a better scorer than by KD. The eye test, by the eye test, by the eye test, by the eye test, Max, since you're just a numbers guy, by the eye test, KD is the best scorer that by I've ever test. seen. He has, z well, he's, the, he has zero you, flaws to his game. I'm, I'm old enough to know that I, I watched Michael Jordan and Kevin Durant play the, play the game of you basketball. Didn't through, I'm old you didn't enough live to know through that, Jordan. Max. By the well, eye test, let me, ask you let me tell you something. For those, let, the let, numbers let me, say Jordan. The numbers say Jordan. But everyone who lived through that era and put their eyeballs on him know the numbers don't even do him justice. And they say Jordan. Max, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. What was yeah. Jordan... Uh, biggest flaw offensively on the offensive end. He couldn't shoot the three ball as well, right? Three point shot early in his career. Three point shot early in his Does, career. Three point shot. Oh, then he okay. developed Next, the three as it can became you more, give me, more important. Can you give Max, can you give me any flaws that KD have offensively? Name one. Being more well rounded to start your career does not make you a better scorer. Michael Jordan. I, Average Name, more points and did Max, so more efficiently. Max, I'm not making that up. Max, he also he also took more shots. Okay, but name can you give can you answer right, the question? It more impressive. Name one flaw. Name one flaw that Kevin Durant has offensively. I, the most well rounded doesn't mean you're the best, nor does it mean you're the most efficient. The fact that Jordan was hey, I'm, also I'm taking more you, shots. I'm just telling you. He just, puts the distance nothing, between him and KD it's, even greater. It's, it's he's taking nothing, more Max, shots. And that he's Kevin, more efficiently it, making it's, them. It's nothing that Kevin Durant can't do offensively. Nothing. He has mid range, he has post okay. ups, he has the tray ball, he has a better handle than Michael He's seven Jordan. Feet tall. He has yeah. the one leg fade away like dirt. I mean, it's nothing that Kevin Durant can't do. We haven't saw, we haven't witnessed anything. It would never be a mimic of a Kevin Durant. We it would never be another Kevin Durant 
in this lifetime, period. We seen the mimic of Michael Jordan hmm. in the late Kobe Bryant, but we will never see another. <laughs> you know Kevin why you Durant. saw a mimic of you Michael Jordan? It. Because the whole world was trying to be like Mike Perk. Why do you think that was? <laughs> Literally, the whole world was trying to be like Mike. Kobe almost Max, did it. Max, but that's why you that's saw cool. that. Because, because everyone changed you everything they did. Like you know why KD faces the basket at seven feet? Because Michael Jordan existed. Everyone wanted to be like Max, Mike. You Max, you probably was in your driveway trying to be like Mike. It didn't work. I'm telling you, KD has zero flaws offensively, <laughs> and we haven't saw, we haven't witnessed KD anything is one of the like greatest scorers of all time in NBA Perfect. history. No, no doubt, KD is one of the greatest scorers of all time. I wouldn't doubt a single thing you said. It's simply the only argument I have with you is when you refer to him as the greatest scorer ever. It's factually incorrect. He averaged fewer points. He was less efficient than Jordan, which makes Jordan even Max. more impressive. He took more shots, and he was Max. more efficient making them than, than everyone, than, than KD, Max. than Wilt Chamberlain, than Kareem, than everybody. Just, so, just, so, just to Max. clean that up KD, for people. KD, K, Max, Max Kellerman, Kevin Durant went to the Golden State Warriors where if KD wanted to, right. he could lead the league in scoring every single year. He went and joined the Golden State Warriors, sure. and he sacrificed, and he still averaged about 25 to 26 points a game and still shot over 50% from the, so, from the field and 40% from the three. So what are you talking about, Max? Like, he had limited touches. What I'm talking so about is you just said it yourself. Well, he was 12. Max, Max, what I'm you telling perk, you is He is joined that a 73-win Warriors team in order to win a championship so because he couldn't do it until he did that. Michael Max, Jordan led a team Max, to talking, winning a championship Max, with 72 we're not talking wins. About, but now you... Now you all over the place. We're not talking about championships. I'm telling you about how efficient Kevin Durant is and how lethal he is on the offensive end that he don't need a lot of touches to go out there and have 30 points. Mm. He's one of the few that I've seen sure. that can have 18 shots and have 35 points. That's all I'm telling you. Yeah. There are different ways to get to the number, Perk, but what you're talking about is efficiency. And just FYI, he was less efficient to score than Michael Jordan. So, in fact, Jordan, in terms of number of shots per points, was better than KD. Jordan was also better at scoring more points than KD. Jordan was also better at leading teams to championships than KD. All I'm saying is uh, you can make all your Max. KD points. You don't want to bring up MJ. Just don't do it. Don't Max. do it to KD. Um, Max, listen. I said what I said, all right? KD have zero flaws. You couldn't name one. I told you Michael Jordan had one flaw. He couldn't shoot the three right. ball. So you still couldn't give me a flaw that Kevin yeah, yeah, Durant well, actually, had. Actually, he could have. So actually. Did, so <laughs> actually, he could. Oh, my God. Average 43%. All right, year, Max. Yeah. You guys, happy, this happy is amazing you, and so much fun. I hope that happy everyone's Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving in fact, has a debate or a conversation with this type of vigor too. because – you know, that'll make for a really interesting time. You ever notice how someone always leaves the table a little bit upset? Maybe that's just my family. I don't know. All right. Pat, yeah. <laughs> thank you so much. Happy early Thanksgiving. No disrespect to the turkey. The grumpy uncle, always good to see you. <laughs> 15 years younger. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, guys.